and it is time to learn about the best high school football coverage in the state because Wish TV is your home for that. And week six, Ben Davis hosts Lawrence North. Can't believe it's week six already. This morning, Greg Rakestraw from the IC Sports Network is here to break down our game of the week and look at a few others that we'll be covering as well. All right, so what are the expectations in this game? What are you watching for? Well, it's funny that we showed you highlights from last year's LNBD game at Lawrence North, and I think the best thing that LN can do is give the same young man the football that we showed in the first highlight, Allie right. Richardson, third year. Uh, as a running back at, at Lawrence North. Uh, this is an LN team that's kind of been up and down, and that's not surprising. They return some key pieces on offense, but their most talented player from last year, Omar Cooper, now plays at Indiana. Graduated a lot of key players on defense. Mm -hmm. So Pat Mallory's team is kind of growing into the season uh, at 2-3. and three. Ben Davis, we had him again last week, got a huge come-from-behind victory in beating Warren Central. 42-28, and Ben Davis offensively is rolling. Thomas Gotkowski uh, accounted for five touchdowns last week, over 400 yards of offense between passing the ball and running the football. So Ben Davis, their two losses, both to really good competition in Brownsburg and Center Grove. Ben Davis be a slight favorite in this game, but LN certainly good enough where they're going to hang and make this a competitive a football game. Yeah, it sounds like a pretty strong matchup. Do you have any uh, predictions here? I, I, would, I would go with Ben Davis. Yeah. I kind of predicted Ben Davis last week, and I would think the same thing. Okay. Again, LN clearly has the talent to give themselves a chance to win this game, but if BD plays anything offensively like they did a week ago, they're going to be a tough team to beat for anybody in the state. All right. What other games do you have your eyes on? Well, you know, I, I know we've got highlights of some of the larger schools. We want to start with one of the small school matchups because we okay. rarely talk about 1A or 2A football locally. But how about Cecina? They are 5-0 and for the first time since 1994. No they're taking on Lutheran. That's a huge game in the Indiana Crossroads Conference. Lutheran, the defending 1A champs, they are 5-0. and I assume this game got moved because the expected crowd size. They have moved this game to Ron Colley High School because there's going to be that many folks that will be at the game. Game. Uh, I know that uh, Zionsville and HSE is a big game. Zionsville has been in the last two 5A state championship games, now playing in 6A. And Hamilton Southeastern is off to their best starts uh, since 2008 as the Royals check in at 5-0. and The other game to mention as well is Lawrence Central and Center Grove. The Bears have won their last three games. This is no longer a conference matchup between LC and Center Grove. But again, this is a litmus test for the Bears to see how do you match up against clearly one of the best teams in the state in the two-time defending state champs. So much fun to watch. I'm rooting for Cecina. I think that yeah. these small schools, it's so awesome whenever they have this farm team. It's grown up together, <laughs> come up together, you know, and then they end up being this powerhouse. Cecina has always had a great program mm -hmm. uh, under Ott Hurley. Uh, and part of the reason why they haven't been 5-0 and for so long is that for many years they would play Ron Colley in Week 5. And okay. They would often be 4-0 going to that game and, and just didn't really match up from an enrollment standpoint mm -hmm. for a talent standpoint. So Ott Hurley, tremendous coach, one of the best leaders and mentors from a high school football coaching standpoint in this state, always has his kids ready come late October, November playoff time, but clearly has a bunch that's pretty talented and special to be undefeated five weeks in. It's hard to believe that we're close to playoff time already. Yeah, we are two-thirds of the way through the regular wow. season as of tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Greg, always a pleasure. Good to Thanks see you for as the always. perspective. The most knowledgeable man in sports right here. <laughs> with AC. Gonna be mad with AC. Sure I was just yeah. going to say equal to Anthony Calhoun. Good All time. right. <laughs> now, don't forget, you can watch every play of the Ben Davis-Lawrence North game starting at 7 p.m. on our sister station, Mindy TV 23.